Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Nicole, I'm a homeschooling mom to a seven, six, and two year old. And then today I am going to be unboxing No Way of Science. Um, this is their Biology One. So let's get into it. Um, so this last year we did No Way of Physics One. Um, I think I have an unboxing and a review of those on my channel if you want to watch them. Um, so we decided to stick with them because it was really easy to use and we just really enjoyed it. Um, and biology looks like it comes with like a lot more books. So I didn't count them. I didn't to compare, but let's get into it. Um, so like last time I remember they give you this. And it has a little scanner. I actually didn't do it at all last year, so I don't know what it takes you to, but um, it's supposed to be something that's helpful with the curriculum. Okay, and then right on top is all of our experiment packs, because if you're not familiar with Noeo, um, to me, one of the like main draw, like things that I'm drawn toward is that it comes with almost everything you need and it's separated, it's not one big pack. So it's separated by the week, so you can tell better on that side. It has a petri dish too, so that should be fun for my biology. Um, I'll do the books in a second. I will first do the guidebooks. So Noeo comes with um, three, comes with a guidebook, or instructor's guide called um, a lab manual and an experiment guide. Um, so these ones are green, our last ones are blue, keep it from getting too boring. Um, let's see, so it is a 36 week curriculum. Um, oh, it's not a sticker anymore. Okay, so we have, we get the charter version, which I think the only difference is there's not, um, the first page has a Bible verse in it, and this one's taken out. I have thought about messaging them and asking them to send me that page so I can just stick it in there. Um, anyway, it's pretty simple to use. Like I said, I have um, like reviews on it and it's going to be pretty similar to physics, but I can do um, like a deeper look inside this later too. I'm sure I'm going to review the biology this year as well. Um, like I said, experiment guide and it'll tell you exactly what you need. And one of my favorite parts about the experiment guide is the what we learned section on the bottom. Uh, I can't tell if you can see it or not, does it? <laughs> I don't know if it um, focuses on it, but I just really like reading that at the end. Lab manual, I did not find myself reaching for this last year. Um, I would occasionally ask them the questions from it, but I don't know. I felt like we got enough out of it without having to have them write stuff because we do so much writing and the rest. Okay, so now for the books, which are nicely packaged together. Um, by the way, it was a very cool day. I got, <laughs> very cool, homeschool life. I got this and our geography and our foreign language in the mail all on the same day. I already did an un unboxing of our foreign language that's on my channel. I don't know if I'm gonna do the geography because it's very popular, but it will be in my like curriculum review. Also, I sometimes feel like I'm the only person on YouTube that has their children in the background um, that you can actually hear them. But typically I only film like when my husband's here playing with them. Anyway, okay, so there's a lot of these ready to read. I'll show you guys inside one of them because I always kind of like to see the amount of words. Okay, rainbows, snow. Clouds, sun, wind, and rain. These are gonna be really fun too for my current kinder. Well, these are, he's a bit beyond this reading level, but they'll still be fun because I'll definitely be able to read these. Okay, Louis Pasteur and pasteurization. We have not read about him before. Uh, um, last year with physics, a lot of the people that we read about, we had already read about them through either their language arts or other things. Um, I don't think we've read about him. 
Oh, this is supposed to be similar to Max Axiom. Oh yeah, there's no Max Axiom in here. Okay. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. So in um, physics, there were like four Max Axiom uh, graphic novels, comics, whatever you want to call them, um, that looked a lot like this. But there's just this one that was kind of their like favorite part. Okay, this one looks really cute. Boy Nature. I've actually seen this, I think, on Amazon quite a bit. Activity book. Usually this is something that I would like buy and then not use. Um because it doesn't come with the things that you need but for this I'm sure that it's gonna say okay do this experiment from the book on page 52 and we already have all the things you need so that's gonna make it easy okay experiments in earth science and weather this one looks cute and it's not very many pages so it's just a few experiments and I'm sure it's gonna be like I said with the last one weather clues in the sky so we can see that we're definitely going to be talking a lot about weather this year which coincidentally or not so coincidentally is something that my six-year-old wanted to learn about the boy who drew birds we actually and then this book was in here we um it's kind of hard to shake it in this one we have been doing um memoria press we do their like art cards in the morning during morning time and we are doing their bird ones lately too. So that's like, um, that'll go really nicely together. Oh, and another bird thing. Well, we will definitely continue on with the birds next year. A little coloring book. So I'll just have to um, copy these with my printer. Um, my first book about weather. Huh, are I supposed to color this? I don't know, maybe. Looks like you could. Yeah, this one would also be fun to um, print out. Um, first Encyclopedia, The Human Body. This one looks good. If my seven-year-old sees this, he's going to read the whole thing today. <laughs> but I try to wait on books until we get to them in the curriculum because I think that's important because they have so many other books. Okay, I did want these ones for a long time. One small square book. They were recommended in, what is that called? Um, a year of homes of a year of learning, a year of something, you know, that like really gentle preschool curriculum. Anyway, they recommend these and I never got them, but I wanted them. Kind of lengthy for preschool though, so probably best that I got them out. Okay, last book. First Animal Encyclopedia. another one that my seven-year-old is going to love okay so that's all I have for you guys today um just wanted to do a little unboxing before I put it away and um I'm not sure if my curriculum choices video is going to come out before or after this probably before so you can go and you can see the other curriculums that I have chosen for the coming year and thanks again for watching you guys make sure to subscribe